Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiffany Smith. And I'm Jason Inman. And we've got an awesome episode for you packed with exclusives. We've got a clip of Batman Unlimited Animal Instincts and an interview with the writers of Arrow. Get your boxing glove arrows ready. It's time for DC All Access. Vertigo's post-apocalyptic epic Suiciders pumps up the drama when the Saint faces a new challenger from Los Angeles. Muscle your way through issue number two tomorrow. The Multiversity Ultra Comics is out this week and reteams Final Crisis dynamic duo Grant Morrison and Doug Mankey. Strap on a utility belt because you, the reader, play an important role in halting the destruction of all creation. Batman Unlimited Animal Instincts is the latest film from Warner Brothers Animation and features a team of beastly villains called the Animalitia. The film is released into the wild in May and we've got your first exclusive clip for you to sink your teeth into. What is that? Back up. So tell me, is it a full moon or is every night in Gotham this weird? I hate when he does that. Last week's episode of Arrow featured Oliver dealing with the daunting possibility of becoming the next Ra's al Ghul. We've got the writers of the episode here to give us an exclusive inside look at how the show took aim. Beth and Brian, you guys are writers on Arrow. Tell me about writing the offer. How far out do you guys start working on the episode? Each season we like, we brainstorm big seasonal arcs on all of our characters and the big bad of the season. And this is something that's been in the works for a while. You know, the whole theme of the season's been identity. You know, am I Oliver Queen? Am I the Arrow? And this is sort of our thesis statement to say, you know, like, if he's not Oliver Queen, he's not the Arrow, maybe he's Ra's al Ghul. And so we knew that conversation was going to happen in this episode, so we sort of worked around that. And on our show, we get to write in partners. Not all shows do that, which is really fun because we write the episode together and you have another person sort of to bounce ideas off of, and it's a really collaborative kind of way to do it. What was the easiest scene for you guys to write on the offer? It was the Ray Felicity scene where they're all, they're flirting and Oliver walks in as like the third wheel and Ray and Felicity have so much fun banter yeah. and they're both so silly. And then just the heartbreak of, all, of Oliver walking in to see them together for the first time, it was kind of a big moment. And I think definitely the Lance Arrow scene where basically he tells him that he's done, sort of that big emotional, you know, telling him, you know, you lied about Sarah being dead and that sort of rawness of that scene. And you get to be a part of it. Not only just be a part of it, but actually write it is, that's the coolest part. Okay, so I could tell you guys how we put together an episode of DC All Access, but I have no idea how the episode comes together. So can you walk me through it a little bit of how you guys prepared and how the offer came about? We sort of assemble, we call it a beat sheet, but basically it's sort of a list of here's the you know scenes in each act and how sort of who's in it, where it's at, and sort of the gist of what's supposed to happen. And then as writers, we go off and we have to, you know, go off and write the scenes. Uh, when we're done, we give it to Mark and Andrew and they sort of do their, uh, as Mark likes to put it, put it through his typewriter. Once that's done, he can either give us notes or he can do it himself. That starts a whole other process where, you know, we'll hear, we can't use this location. So we have to go rewrite the script to fit to a different location. Or this actor is not available that certain day. So we have to adjust the presence of that actor in certain scenes. So there's. Uh, a, a sort of an ownership of like throughout this whole process, whether it's from the start of the idea to like the actual filming day to day, that you're yeah. still in charge of making sure that episode delivers. Well, thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see what's next in the world of Arrow.
Last week, we asked you guys to send us your best iZombified selfie, and you guys really came alive in the submissions. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the creepiest and most creative. This week, we're honoring the 75th anniversary of Shazam and asking you guys to send in videos of your best Billy Batson impression yelling Shazam in a public place. If you want to see us embarrassing ourselves, head over to the DC All Access Tumblr. Send us your video using the hashtag DCAA giveaway for your chance to win a copy of Shazam Volume 1 and Shazam Superman The Return of Black Adam. Plus, we're going to take some of our favorites and edit them into a super sweet montage next week. And if you want more DC All Access, check out all of these videos. And guess what else? A little birdie told me that you should follow DC Comics on Twitter so you don't miss a single update. And if you want more news about your favorite movies, TV shows, action figures, and the multiverse in general, I have 26 characters for you. Subscribe to DC All Access.